Here's problem 9-6. A 2 kilogram object moving with a velocity of 5 meters per second in the positive x direction strikes in 6-2 a 3 kilogram object moving with a speed of 2 meters per second in the same direction. How much kinetic energy is lost in this collision? Alright, so we have uh, mass 1, which is 2 kilograms, and it's moving to the right with a speed, let's say 1 v1 initial is equal to 5 meters per second. About to collide with mass 2, which is 3 kilograms, it has a speed in the same direction, so v2 initial is also positive 2 meters per second. This is the way things look like initially. And then they're going to collide and stick together and move together as one with one final velocity, total mass of 5 kilograms at that point. And this is the way things look like finally. Momentum should be conserved, but since it is an inelastic collision, a perfectly inelastic collision, uh, kinetic energy definitely will not be conserved. So only momentum will be conserved. So we have the one equation to rule them off for momentum, mass 1 V1 initial plus mass 2 V2 initial should equal mass 1 V1 final plus mass 2 V2 final. Now in this case, since uh, mass 1 and mass 2 stick together in a perfectly inelastic collision, they all have the same final velocity. V1 final and V2 final will be the same. And hence we can write the right hand side of this as mass 1 plus mass 2 times V final. And uh, we wish to find out what this V final is. So based on our numbers we have that uh, 2 kilograms 5 meters per second plus 3 kilograms times 2 meters per second is equal to 5 kilograms times V final. In other words, V final is going to equal 10 plus 6 divided by 5, 16 divided by 5, or 3.2 meters per second. That is the final velocity of the two mass system. Nice to know. So we figured out the final velocity, but now we want to find out our change in kinetic energy. So we need to find our initial kinetic energy and our final kinetic energy. Initially, it's going to be 1 half mass 1 v1 initial squared plus 1 half mass 2 v2 initial squared. And that is going to be 1 half times 2 times 5 squared plus 1 half times 3 times 2 squared. So that is going to be... Twenty twenty five plus six or thirty one joules is our initial kinetic energy. Our final kinetic energy is one half our total mass and mass one plus mass two times our final velocity squared. So that's gonna be one half times five kilograms times three point two squared, and what is that? Twenty-five point six joules. We want to find our how much we lost. So the kinetic energy we lost is how much we started with minus how much we ended up with. So that's going to be our initial minus our final in this case. 31 minus 25.6 is 5.4 joules. We lost 5.4 joules in this perfectly inelastic collision.